progress from game one to now? Where are you health-wise and how do you feel? Yeah, I think uh, when I first started, I, I wanted to give myself 10 games. Obviously, you don't have a training camp, you don't have preseason, and it's, it's a long break in terms of playing. So, uh, And everyone else has been playing for however many months, and they're 50 games into their season. So everyone's, uh, everyone's in top shape. And um, so I want to give myself 10 games. I feel like I've gotten better. Um, try to work on different things every game. And, you know, last night I felt like I had a strong game. So I just want to try and build off that. How strange is today, and how, what do you think the reaction is going to be tomorrow? Uh, yeah, it is a little. It's definitely strange, um, but I'm not the first guy to get traded and go to another team and go back to the team they were at. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's a little awkward, you know, walking in here, going to the uh, visitors' room. But you know, other guys have done it, so it's just business as always. It's like, what, what, it's not what, the first time for you. I mean, it's not the first time for for people, but it's the first time for you. And Pete was in here saying, recalling what happened to Max last year, having to go back to Montreal. Uh, does it, you know, and he said this things like this do weigh on players in, 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 in some ways, wondering how, knowing how much time you put into this franchise and wondering what the reception might be tomorrow. Does, does that, has that entered your mind? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you obviously you, you have those thoughts. You think about what, uh, what sort of reception you're going to get. Um, but I can't control that. I feel like I gave everything I had while I was here, my time in Buffalo. Uh, to the organization, to the community. So, um, you know, I'm at peace with all that, and um, whatever the reception is, I'll, I'll be able to handle it. It's, uh, you know, it's hockey, and when the puck drops, you know, you get a shift under your belt. I think it just becomes a game. Do you have no bitterness? Nope, none whatsoever. I had a phenomenal time here in Buffalo. Um, lived out a childhood dream, playing my first NHL game. The organization, city was nothing but great to me and my family. So. Uh, there's no bitterness in me whatsoever. Does anything linger from the way both sides kind of dug in on the medical issue as far as your surgery was concerned, how that dragged on? Uh, no, listen, you know, there's a disagreement in medical, uh, and, you know, they're doctors. I'm not. I just seeked out my, my own, uh, I guess, uh, opinions, and, um, you know, I felt more comfortable going one way. The team felt, you know, more comfortable a, 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 another way, and we disagreed, and, you know, things played out the way they did, and obviously I was moved and was able to get the surgery I wanted, and here I am healthy playing hockey again, and that's just, uh, you know, I'm just happy to be doing that. Jack, you mentioned it, you mentioned it a couple times, including the interview with Emily. Um, about the captaincy, I guess I'm a little confused, but it's understandable you'd be hurt by it. But you asked to be traded for very valid reasons. They were going to trade you. Camp had started. I mean, why should they have kept the C at that point? Uh, you know what, it's, it's a great question. I, I don't know. I mean, listen, I just didn't, uh, maybe I just disagreed at some points with the way that things were handled. And um, I took a lot of pride in being the captain. And uh, I, I mean, I remember the day I was named captain. It was, uh, it's, that's an incredible honor to be captain of a franchise, a professional sports team. And um, you know, I remember calling my dad after and, you know, just, you know, talking to him and him, you know, saying what, what he thought that meant and, and the, you know, I just, I think I carried a lot of pride in being the captain and wearing the seat here for the organization and, um, you know, maybe I just disagreed with some things that, that, uh, that went on through the process and, um, you know, I don't think anybody would be happy with getting the seat taken away from them and I was no different. It's a, it's a business, Jack, you were doing, you wanted to make a decision that was best for your health short and long term. So with that in mind, even though, is it pressuring that some fans don't see that that side of it? That just uh, you're a person, you're not just a hockey player, and this was a decision you had to make for, for yourself. No, it's not frustrating. Listen, everyone's entitled to their opinion, right? So, um, you know, you're, you're always going to get two sides of the story. You're always going to get people that agree with you and disagree with you. Uh, at the end of the day, you're the only person that has to, you know, put your head in the pillow and live with your decisions. So, I just wanted to stick to what I believed in, and I thought I did that. You know, I don't know if Water used the word regret, but you know, you in, in some ways you wish things would have worked out differently. There was success here. And oh, of course, yeah, of course. I mean, um, you know that this this city gave me so much. The organization gave me so much. So, you know, I think if you asked any guy that came through here during uh, the time I was here, and you know, we had some really really good groups in the locker room, and 
a lot of really good people, and there's some amazing people that work for the, the Sabres organization. And, you know, those are the people that you want to have success for. Like, you look at a guy like RJ, I mean, there's not a lot of better people that you're going to come across than him, and he's been doing this forever. And, you know, he, he's, uh, you know, he's, when you think of the Sabres, you kind of think of him. And, um, you know, you just wish you had more success for people like that that have been here through uh, through everything that uh, that they have. You know, some of the equipment guys, some of the guys that have worked for the team. I mean, these are the people that wear uh, the Buffalo Sabres on their sleeve. And, um, you know, as, as a team, I think, you know, every year we wish we had more success. In your year, you were, you were of your, you, at the end of practice, first year of practice, you were standing and shouting from a lot of familiar spots <laughs> on the site. Did that... Yeah. Did that in any way cross your mind that yeah, I've scored from here or I've scored that goal from here? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I told Patty I scored a couple from here. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, yeah, of course you get out on the ice and, you know, this is a place I spent a lot of time and, um, yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of great memories in this building. So, um, you know, whenever you come into a place like that, I think you you automatically just start trickling down memory lane. Jack, uh, there, uh, you know, there were a lot of decisions that were made here that were beyond your control that affected this franchise. But as you reflect on your time here, do you ever think about anything that you might have done differently as captain of this team? Um, I think it's always, uh, it's always easy to sit here now, look back, and say, I wish I would have done things differently. But, I mean, you look at it, you're 20, 21, 22 years old. You get named captain. You're still trying to figure your way a little bit. And uh, obviously you have that, you know, that extra, you know, it's, it's not a burden, it's a privilege. But... Uh, there's a lot that comes with being the captain, and um, yeah, of course, I think now at, at 25 years old, I think I've learned a lot more, and uh, I'd probably do a better job now than I did then, but um, you know, the one thing I always tried to do when I was the captain was just be myself, and I still try to do that now. Um, try not to do anything differently, letter, no letter, I just try to be myself every day, work hard, try and set an example on the ice. I guess my follow to that would be, to what degree as the former captain of this franchise and of this team, do you hold yourself accountable and responsible for the lack of success? Well, of course, course, you have to. I think every guy has to look in the mirror, myself included. I was the captain and the leader of the group, and we didn't have enough success. So, of course, a lot of that falls on my shoulders. How difficult is it to be an 18-year-old kid and be thrust into the position of being the face of a franchise? Yeah, I don't really look at it like that. Um, yeah, a lot of pressure comes. You know, you go to a, a team that, uh, you know, is looking for success, has had success in the past, is looking to rekindle that, and is in the in the midst of a, you know, you want to call it a rebuild. Or we had a lot of older guys on our team the first few years, and um, yeah, I mean, I, but I think when when I look back at my time as an 18 year old, I mean, I was living at Matt's house. His wife was basically doing everything for me. I mean, I was just. I was living out a childhood dream and having a lot of fun doing it. And we had a really good group of guys in the locker room, and I was just enjoying playing in the NHL every day. So, you know, those sort of things didn't really cross my mind at that time. I think as you get older and as the years pass and you have, you know, you're, you're not having the success as a team that you want and, and delivering the results, I think at that point you're, you start to feel the pressure a little bit more. And I think I did at times. But um, like I said earlier, I, I just tried to be myself every day, and you know, some days it was a good version of me. Some days I probably wish I was, you know, a little better. But you know, you, you, you can look back now and make changes. But hey, it's in the past, and all you can do is move forward. Jack, how disappointed are you the way the relationship may have ended with Tim and Terry, based on all that you went through with them since 2015? Yeah, listen, um, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Spagula were tremendous to me and my family, obviously. They drafted me. They gave me a nice, uh, a really nice long-term contract, and um, you know I had a great relationship with them. And yeah, obviously things didn't. Uh, I guess you know things didn't end as 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 good as uh, as would have liked. But um, you know, like I said earlier, I don't have any hard feelings towards anyone. The Pagulas, I have no hard feelings towards anyone. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it is a business, and. Uh, you know the team has to. They, they, you know, they were they stuck by their doctors' opinions, and and uh, you know I respect them for that, and you know I hope people can respect me for standing by what I believed in and what I thought was right for myself, and uh, I hope that me being back playing and uh, healthy, and um, I hope that can be an example of uh, 
you know, somebody sticking by what they believe in and, and, and having a, a successful outcome. How do you want your time here to be remembered? That's a great question. Um, you know, I felt I made a really good impact on the community. That was one thing that I always tried to do from the moment I was drafted. Um, I felt like the city and the people here gave me so much that so I wanted to try and give back as much as I could. Um, but I, I, you know what, like, you look at it and, you know, minus the last maybe 12 months, you know, there was a lot of really good moments and I thought I had a lot and I hope the, uh, I hope the city uh, can, you know, maybe look at it for the, the, the previous, you know, five and a half years, whatever you'd call it, um, and uh, everything good that happened then and, you know, understand maybe where I'm coming from. Is anything else for Jack? Yeah. I can do a couple aspects. Uh, the work you did with cancer centers and sending flowers to the nurses and whatnot, just putting it all together, what made you want to get involved in the community and what made the fans here so great? Well, I think in a community like Buffalo where you look at the Bills and the Sabres and they have such a they're, they're such a strong image, I guess, in the community, and the fans here obviously care for them. The people here, um, the people here care, care deeply about their sports teams. And, you know, when you have that sort of ability to make an impact on people, I think it's, uh, it's almost your duty to do so. And I thought that was mine. And, and uh, I remember, you know, just shortly after getting drafted, having the opportunity to go to Roswell for the first time, and I just felt like I made a connection there. And, you know, whether it was Roswell or Best Buddies or – you know, doing stuff with Dave and Adams, they were they were uh, really good for, you know, kind of connecting me with the community. And and uh, I give Adam Martin a lot of credit. We we did a lot of things together, whether it was raising money or um, you know different things. And you know, you just uh, you want to give back. And I felt like that was sort of uh, something I always wanted to do. I remember when I was a young kid, and, and the, the the impact that you know my uh, you know my role models would make on me. So I just wanted to try and always do that. Yeah, I mean, listen, like I said, I think there'll probably be a lot of thoughts, but at the end of the day, it's another hockey game, and it's an important one for our team. Um, you know, we need two points. Um, you know, we know they're going to be ready to play after after their game uh, earlier in the week against Florida, and, uh, you know, we, we have to come out and match their intensity, and it's it's a big two points. But like you said, I'm, I'm going to be happy to be back playing hockey. I'm really enjoying it. It's nice to have fans in the building. It's nice to feel like it's uh, it's back to normal, and, um, you know, I'm just enjoying every moment of that. Jack, thanks for your time. Thank you, guys.